making a good strong tone on your French horn mouthpiece. Say M to spread your lips, M. Bring your top lip down, activating these muscles. Keep your lips spread. Make it as if there's glue right here. Flattening your chin to activate these muscles. And when we make a buzz, we should always buzz first without the mouthpiece. So we're going to start the sound with our tongue, always saying two or ta. Try that with me. Two. We never want to say pa, pa, pa. Remember, all of your lips are spread and activated. The sun came out. Okay. Never puffing out your cheeks. When you puff out your cheeks, that means that you're being weak with your cheeks. We don't want that. All these muscles should be activated here. Without the mouthpiece. Note how I'm taking a big breath through the sides of my mouth and I'm starting the tone with my tongue. Everything is really firm right here and I'm only making uh, buzzing and vibrating my lips right in, in the middle. And we put our mouthpiece right up to our mouth about halfway. Some students like to go a little lower. I breathe through the sides of my mouth. I start the tone with my tongue. It should be a nice high buzzy sound. Ready? When you get better at buzzing, you can start doing a siren. It's good for your mouth and your muscles. Ready? Notice how you can see some of the corners of my mouth, even while I have my mouthpiece up. And all of these muscles are really firm. Ready? All right, happy practicing.